The task planner allows the user to set up a list of tasks, selecting when each should start, their repetition rate, and other parameters. The equipment can be switched off after setting all the task planner parameters, and it will wake up at the required time to perform the scheduled tasks. We access this tool by pressing F3 and selecting Task Planner. A new window will pop up showing the list of tasks scheduled so far and the next time they will be launched. If the word finished appears instead of the time, then the task has already been executed. If nothing appears, then the task has not been scheduled yet. By pressing F2, Tasks, a menu rolls up, giving us the option to add a new task. Delete a task, go to the list of files saved in the meter in the installation manager, and view a log listing all the actions taken by the meter involving the task planner feature. First, we will create a new task by selecting Add. You can either force the meter to launch a data logger or a screen capture. We will first add a data logger. A new window will let you choose which data logger file you want to meet the meter to open and save the measurements across the corresponding channel plan in a new test point. We confirm the data logger selected by pressing F1 OK. In case we wanted to replace that data logger with a different one, we just need to press F3 parameters and select the new data logger. If we press F4 timing, we will open the timing settings. Here we inform the meter when to launch the task, the task repetition rate, and how to end the task manually on a specific date or after a number of repetitions. Finally, we can force the meter to switch itself off after every task execution. The upper right corner will now show an icon of a clock indicating that the equipment has tasks pending to execute. On the other side, if we add a capture task, the pop-up window will let us choose over which screen we want to take the screen capture. We can choose from any of the Spectrum, Measurements, TV and IPTV sub-modes. It is possible to select as well if we want just to capture the picture or only the data on the screen as an XML file or both. In case we wanted to modify these settings afterwards, we can just do so by pressing F3 parameters. Pressing F4 timing, you access to the same timing menus that we explained before. Deleting finished tasks is easy just by ticking the corresponding task pressing F2, Tasks, and selecting Delete. No task will be executed until we exit the Task Planner tool.